Hush your smoothie. It's delicious, Mom. You make a really good smoothie. You always do. Thank you, honey. Mom. Hi, Christy. Would you like me to make you a smoothie real quick? No, thanks. I uh, ate at my friend's house. Oh, what you, what did you have? Um, chili for lunch and for a snack we had ice cream. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'll be in my room. Don't you want to sit and tell us about your day? Um, I'm kind of tired. I, I gotta go. Sorry. Stephanie? Yeah? Is there something going on with your sister? I don't know. All I know is I'm... All I know is I've noticed that she has been losing weight. I've noticed too. Would you like me to, like, be a detective and investigate? Honey, this is no laughing matter. I'm really worried about your sister. I know, so am I. Joking around makes me feel better. But I guess this isn't about me, it's about Christy. I'll talk to her, Mom. Christy and I are really close. She'll tell me what's bothered her. Find out, I have a feeling she ha she has not been eating. Well, I'll try to find out what's going on. Thanks, honey. Now I have to get to work. Will you two be okay by yourselves? Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one. Who is it? It's Stephanie. Can I come in? I'm kind of busy right now. Well, I'm coming in anyway. What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I heard you counting. Oh, I was just doing some sit-ups. Why? Uh, I want to get them right for gym class. I've been having trouble doing sit-ups and push-ups and everything. So I figured, you know, why not practice at home? Christy, me and Mom are both worried about you. Why? Well, you're tired all the time. You're not doing well in your classes. You don't want to do anything. And you're really thin. You don't know what you're talking about. Even if I didn't know what I was talking about, I know what I see. What's going on? Nothing is going on, okay? You're not home for meals either. What are you, a detective? I might as well be. Come on, Christy. We're, we're, we're not just sisters, we're best friends. We tell each other everything. Okay, I'll tell you to get out of my room. I'm serious, Christy. I'm really worried about you and so is mom. Will you please just tell me what's going on? Okay. I'll tell you. But you gotta promise not to tell anybody. Do you promise? I guess so. What do you want to tell me? You were right. About what? I haven't been eating. Why? Because I want to be thin. Why do you want to be thin? I mean, you already are thin, especially now. Because this boy in my English class, he told me that I was fat. And that every time I had cookies in my lunch, he would take them and say I didn't need them. I was fat and all. You mean all this is because of some obnoxious boy in your class? I know it sounds silly, but when you're older, you'll learn to take things like this seriously. No, I won't, because he's just one person. Is anyone else saying you're fat? Like any of your coaches, like your softball coach or your basketball coach? No. They're saying I should gain weight, too. Well, then why don't you listen to them? They're more experienced with that kind of stuff. The guy who said you were fat, he was just being a jerk. Look, I don't know. I just don't know. You don't know what? I just don't know what to believe. 
where your clothes are getting really big on you and you're tired all the time and you, you're like practically a walking clothes hanger with clothes on. Gotta eat. I will as soon as I lose 10 more pounds. 10 more pounds, you'll be a toothpick. I'd rather be a toothpick than a plump watermelon. What? Look, you can't tell anybody that I haven't been eating. I'll eat when I lose 10 more pounds, I promise. But I can't, please, Stephanie. Keep it a secret, please. Okay. But I don't like it. You're alone to live with it. I'll be in my room. Thanks, Steph. Yeah. Okay, back to my sit-ups. Now I'm going to start a work. One, two, three, I can't concentrate on this. I'm so worried about Christy. I don't know what to do. I promised her I would keep her secret, but what if she gets worse? I'll take a nap, I'll sleep on it, and figure out what to do when I wake up. Stephanie. Stephanie, oh! Mom, why'd you hit me for? I had every right to. Okay, I know you're my mom, but you've never hit me before. What's going on? Christy. What about Christy? She's so thin. Yeah, I know that. I've been trying to convince her to eat, but... You mean she hasn't been eating? I should tell you. She hasn't been eating... And she won't eat until she loses 10 more pounds. I told her it was a bad idea. Why didn't you call and tell me what was going on? Because she made me promise not to tell. I don't care, Stephanie. This is a matter of her health. Don't you care about her health? You know I do. Then you should have kept it a secret. I'm very angry with you. I'm sorry, Mom. Well, sorry isn't going to make Christy feel better. I'm going to have to handle this myself. You don't care about her at all. I'm going to go and look up, look on the internet for institutions for her so she can start eating again. I can't believe what a bad sister you're being. But I'm not trying to. You just stay here and think about what you did. You could have killed Christy. I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so- Oh, it was just a bad dream, but now I know what I gotta do. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. I figured out what was wrong, Christy, and I think you need to come home right away. Please. I know you're working, but you need to come home. It's okay, honey. I'll come home. Just give me a, give me 20 minutes. Okay, hurry. All right. Man. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Okay, you said you figured out what's wrong, Christy? Yeah, she made me keep it a secret. But since you had to rush home and since I called you, I might as well tell you what's going on. Okay? What's going on? Chris, a guy in Christy's class told Christy that she was fat. And this guy has said it more than once. He even took food away from her. 
and Christy took that advice to heart, even though all her coaches are concerned about her, even though we're concerned about her. She doesn't seem to care. She wants to lose 10 more pounds, and then she'll start eating again. So she hasn't been eating. No. And I think she's getting too thin. Yes, she is getting very thin. You're a good sister, Stephanie. Christy is lucky to have a sister like you. Even if she doesn't know it yet. I'm going to go talk to her, okay? Hey, you did the right thing. I hope so. You did. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, hundred. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Mom, what are you doing home from work so early? I thought you weren't going to be back until tonight. Um, honey, I need to talk to you. About what? You know, I'm very worried about you. Well, that's nice, but really, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Your sister told me what you've been going through. I told her not to tell you. She swore she wouldn't tell. Well, I'm glad she did, Christy. Honey, do you want to wind up killing yourself by your crash diet? How do you know I haven't been eating? Well, you just told me, but Stephanie told me first, honey. I'm really worried about you. You you must be starving. What is this all about? This has to be more than just wanting to be thin and about what that boy said to you. You could tell me. You could trust me. Oh, like I trusted Stephanie when she told you anyway? Honey, I'm not your sister. I'm your mother. Please tell me what's going on. Why are you doing this? The real reason. Because I see girls my age who are so beautiful and so thin. Honey, you're beautiful too. You're my mom. You're supposed to say that. And give me and show me one picture in a magazine of a model with this big stomach and these chipmunk cheeks. Honey, you don't have any of those things. You're beautiful. And that's why I love you. You love me because I'm beautiful? I love you because you're you. But this crash diet stuff has got to stop. You're going to wind up killing yourself. I know what I'm I know what I'm doing, Mom. I can see myself in the mirror. The problem is I can't stop what I'm doing. I can't. I'm not doing this on purpose anymore. I know that. But we're going to get you help. There's a, there's a hospital about a half an hour away from where I work. They have a program for girls with eating disorders. Whether you want to or not, I think you should go there until you're better. You know, I never thought I would agree to something like this, but I think that's what's best. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. That's why I want you to take care of yourself. When, you, when you're at the hospital, you have to be cooperative, okay? Okay. I'll try. That's all I can ask for. Mom, you go make the phone call and try to register me there. I got to talk to uh, Stephanie. You're not going to yell at her, are you? No. I'm going to thank her. I love you, honey. Love you, too. And, hey, 
Hi. Mom just talked to me. I'm sorry I didn't keep the secret, but I didn't want anything bad to happen to you. It's okay. Look, you don't have to be mad at me. I was just, what? I said, I know. Thank you for telling Mom. You wanted me to tell Mom? No, not at first, but in the end, I'm glad you did. So is Mom going to help you? I'm going to be going away for a while. Until I get better and until I'm at my normal weight. That's good. I'm glad. I'm really sorry I put you through all this. Don't worry about me and Mom. Worry about yourself. Get better. Fight it. I will. And if you excuse me, I have some packing to do. I just wanted to give you a hug and thank you again. Thanks. You're my sister. I want to look out for you. I appreciate that, Stephanie. I really do. We'll go get packed. Are you leaving tonight? Most likely, yes. So I better get packed. I don't know how long I'm going to be there, but I'll pack as if I'm going away for a month. Will it really take that long for you to recover? I really don't know. But it's better to be safe than sorry. And mom, you and mom could always drop off stuff for me if I stay longer there. Okay, go get packed. <sighs> At least she's getting help. Now I can go on my computer and enjoy it. If I had to